Over here in my shop, I started leveling this whole little mobile workbench. But of course that's a pain as you lift every, put a wedge under any of these casters. So I scrapped that idea, just found a fairly flat piece of sheet good, and then went to get that bubble in the middle in both orientations. So I'm pleased with that. I've got some wedges under both of these corners. So next I'm gonna put my stool here and level it. Get the stool where I like it. So I'm nice and centered there. As well as there. So I ended up having to put this shim in and then sort of a double shim on that one. And it was just oh, five minutes, less than five minutes of just keep adding more and more. Even though I didn't show on camera how I did this, I at least wanted to spend a quick moment showing what I did. So I don't spend a lot of time with levels. So I spent, a, I had to keep reminding myself that if I brought this end up, what would the bubble do? But that was helpful. So I would be like, oh, I still need to keep putting shims in here because this whole bit needs to go higher in order to center the bubble. And so I just kept going back and forth of adding shim here and then checking to see where the bubble was at there so that I was just getting real time feedback on what I needed to do. And once it was centered, it's not perfectly, perfectly centered, but it is stinking good. So um, I didn't drive myself bananas but I definitely got it so that I'm gonna be happy with my stool. The nice thing about three legs is, is that it's always gonna be balanced um, as far as those three points of contact with the floor. Next thing is, is give myself some lines to cut to. I'm just gonna use my little Japanese cross cut saw to cut them to final length. So I have my pencil out as my marker. I intentionally don't have the world's sharpest pencil so that it's easy to really give myself a nice dark line to follow while sawing. And then I was like, what am I gonna use for a spacer? I quickly remembered that I've got a bunch of the setup blocks. Um, and so I just went for my very first one that I took a guess at, it's half an inch. And it's definitely well past um, the highest spot, which is right here. It's actually right back on this back side is the highest spot. And I wanted to make sure that I was like a full, I don't know, eighth of an inch proud of the, of the edge here so that my saw getting that curve started would be a lot easier um, rather than being, you know, just barely on that line. So next I will just give myself one happy pencil line to follow. When need be, I can protrude the pencil out a little bit further. Yep, that's totally there. Here's that pencil line. You can see how it's much higher on this side than it is on this side. Got my hand just holding the stool, making sure it doesn't move. You gotta walk, walk around. I intentionally set this mobile workstation up in a place that I could get to on all sides. One more to go. Again, I've got a hand just sitting on top of the stretcher to add stability to the stool.
I like that. And when I said I had sort of the sharpness of my pencil to give you a sense of it, it's sharpish, but it's not dull, but it's not a fine point because I didn't want to deal with a point constantly breaking. Now that we're zoomed out, obviously I don't need to draw any more lines, but I wanted to give a sense, since you couldn't see my hands, I found it best instead of trying to hold this leg inscribed like I did on the first leg, I really like just holding in a more central place so that I was putting pressure on all three points and giving myself that nice crisp line. And then I could set myself up in a different direction and go at it. That worked really well for me. I've now set up at my bench uh, with my pattern maker vise. And I've got this first one almost at a vertical. I'm a little restrained as to what can fit behind my sanding shelf here. But it gives me a nice stable way to hold my piece. Of course, it would be a little bit more stable if this was closer there. But I'm going to give this a shot. So I had to just make sure I let up on my cut as I was getting down a little bit lower. I would say in the ideal world, I would just leave that pencil line just barely there and I could have cleaned up to it since I'm not as accurate to cut directly on a line. I slowly lost a little bit of my line right here, but for the most part, it's around everywhere else. So I'm very pleased with that. I'll give a close up so you all can see what I was saying. So I'm a little, got a full line right here. And I don't have the line right there. You can barely see it right above my thumb, but um, lost it right there and right there. So that's fine though. I'm in the right ballpark. So at the end, I really lighten my downward pressure so that I cut the grain versus rip it or tear it out at the very end of the cut. I really split the pencil line. It's quite a nice cut. This is the one that's going to take off the least amount, and the least amount is going to be at the bottom of the cut. I've really been enjoying resting my body against the vise to steady it. But I'm sure you can recreate that with 
device at any height. Did lose the line right there. But the rest of it is definitely able to see it. Next, I'm gonna just try finding that pencil line and getting it. Tend to have pretty good luck with my belt sander, so I'm gonna give that a little kiss on each of the three legs. had pretty good success at the belt sander. I just flushed them all up. And then for the most part, I just barely let the pencil line go away. A few spots that it just barely still exists. I'm gonna get it down on the ground and be able to take a first look at it. Obviously I can you know, rock it to the point that it comes up, but very happy with that. Next, I'll add a little chamfer to all of these because they're going to get beat up as it just gets dragged around the shop. Anything of that sort. Do a quick look over for any place that I need to sand, and then it's on to finishing. Oh. Set up to do chamfers. I did my very first one, and I tried out my spoke shave, but my chisel was just stinking sharper, so it just did a nice job of cutting that. And I'm going to continue on with that way. At the top, I'm going against the grain, so I have to take lighter passes. So make sure at this point you don't cut your hand. So think about how you're having a stop cut. Little tour of the stool before it gets... It's light, little bit of final sanding. 